All right, so this is the, the pedal right here. And basically this was a kit that I purchased on eBay. It was $18, it's a compressor kit. It comes with the, the box. I had to drill the holes for it, uh, but everything else was included in it. And uh, me and my daughter kind of as a project made this. So uh, we'd kind of, I don't know, have something fun. Anyway, what was interesting about it is when I was putting it together, um, it has this diagram here and I didn't know what this was here, this LDR. And then I realized that this was an optical compressor because as soon as I plugged it in, uh, as I was testing it, you know, this LED right here came on inside there and then I realized, oh, this is what an optical compressor, this, I'm holding an optical compressor and I didn't even know what that meant. So I uh, did a couple Google searches and uh, came up with a, a guy on the gear page dot net and had an awesome explanation this is posted by uh, billy joe jim bob in 2009 uh, but he really explains what the difference is in between an optical compressor and a regular compressor and basically what it is is uh, what a compressor does is it's uh, taking your your signal as it's going in here and essentially it's you know imagine a little guy in there turning the volume up and down as needed okay so like if you're uh, if you're playing very softly, he's turning the volume up to match it. And then when you play real hard, he's turning the volume down to make sure you kind of have an even sound going across. So your soft notes play as loud as your loud notes, essentially. And this, this one here, it just has a volume and a sustain. And the, the volume is self-explanatory and the sustain is basically just how much of the effect you want on it. So if you turn it all the way down, it's basically off. Uh, if you turn it all the way up, everything you do is the exact same volume. So I keep it kind of at about 40% or so, because I don't want it to just be, um, take away all of my dynamics in my playing. Um, in order for a compressor to work, it needs a VCA, a voltage controlled amplifier. And it's basically like a, a the, the volume, the guy inside turning the volume up and down and regulating that. To make a, a VCA or a voltage controlled amplifier, um, there would be basically some sort of resistor that would, would do that at all times. But basically that doesn't exist. There's no product, there's no uh, component that does that. So what you have to do is do different circuitry that do different things. So um, an IC chip is usually what, what, what manufacturers will use. And that would be like a Ross compressor would use an IC chip. And I think actually most compressors would be like an IC chip based um, compressor. And uh, that works, but basically what ends up happening is, to me it seems a little bit more of a digital sound. I know it's analog, but it has a little bit more of a digital sound to it. It's a little bit more harsh as it's as it's uh, making the, the effect, as it's adjusting. Also, they're apparently less quiet and can actually be more expensive uh, to make them quiet. So, they have this other thing instead of using an IC chip, but that is the an LDR, which stands for light dependent resistor. And so basically what happens is you have this this resistor here, the light dependent resistor, and you lay it down to face this LED. When the LED shines, it shines into this light dependent resistor. And so as your signal goes through, the louder you play, essentially the more light comes through this. And then it, this resistor says, oh, they're playing a lot of light. I'm going to turn the volume down, if that makes sense. So the less light that's coming through, if I believe that's how it's working. The less, less light that goes through, the less effect that it has. So essentially it's using a light to create that magical guy in there that's turning it up and down. It's a pretty, pretty ingenious optical compressor using this LDR chip is that inherently it's hard to have a quick reacting light. And so the, the compression is a little bit smoother actually. If you have a, a an optical compressor, it's not going to be as harsh as, as an IC compressor. So I hope that kind of makes sense, but it basically it's not gonna affect as quickly and as harshly, but it's kind of going to be a smoother transition as it does that. I love that because I like the dynamics of my playing to be a little bit more smooth anyway. So I'm taking way too much time here, a lot more than I, I thought that I would. So let me just go ahead and, and, and open this guy up and I'm going to show you exactly um, what 
if this looks like inside here. Okay, I turned the light on so you could see this in here a little bit better. This right here is the LED, okay? So that's what's going to, to come on with the signal. And that little guy with the squiggly line down there is that LVR right there. I don't know if I can, yep, right there. Does that make sense? So this light shines into that and then makes the adjustment there. So anyway, hopefully this video was useful to you, helpful to you. And uh, if you like it, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, do all that jazz. Thank you so much. Appreciate you for watching and I'll see you in another video.